Hip-hop, I am sitting in for <laughs> the man, the legend, Channel 7, who is on Zoom. He's quarantining, he's he's going out some ways, you know what I'm saying? Stay All safe. good, staying safe, but uh you got uh you got my man Zeke to the right of me, you got Channel 7 in the middle. I don't know if he's gonna be in the middle or on the left. You got Ricky <laughs> Swade, yo. You know what I'm saying? So Yo, it's, uh, I don't know what episode this is, 19, 18, whatever, but I, I hope y'all are feeling great out there. Yeah, what episode is it? I don't know, but we, we, we push it, we moving along, yo, we moving along, but, uh... It's about 11, 12, something like that. Nah, we more than 11, 12. Nah, we, we about we 15. 11, 12. 15? Um, forgive me, I mean, for, the, forgive me for the sunglasses. Oh, okay. Forgive me for the sunglasses. Uh, my contacts are acting up a little bit. Uh, got a little teary eyed. Fuck Joe and what he's saying, because he don't say some smart shit. You know what I'm saying? So Channel right. 7. But, nonetheless, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we here. We here in the building. So, uh, first of all, before we continue, we want to shout out to all our sponsors. DopeAssFits.com. That's D-O-P-E-S-A-Z-Z. Fits.com. Uh, oh, ASS. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no AZZ. ASS. Yeah, right. I, I, I corrected myself. AZZ D-O- is the IG, right? right? Wow. Yeah, so dopeassfits.com. D O P E A S S. Fits.com. Is that Fits with an S or is it? That's Fits with an S. That's what I asked. Oh. <laughs> Leave it. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, shout out to uh, our other sponsor, Break. BreakthroughConsultingForYou.com. If you know how to spell break, you're good. <laughs> Through. And the four is literally the number four. Four. You.com. The letter uh, you. The letter you for a uh, small business assistant, including social media, what have you. Uh, Sports Life and Hip Hop, you can catch us on SLHH. POD. POD. Yeah. So. On the, on the Instagram. On the Instagrams and, and on YouTube. Uh, by the way, we appreciate all of our followers. Hit that like button. Uh, fuck with us. Fuck with us. Here we go, yo. So, uh, what's on your mind? Mom said, <clears throat> a plethora, man. You want to start with the, with the gloom and doom, or you want to? Well, you know what? Yeah, yo, um, I'll start with the gloom and doom, and um, R.I.P. to his family, to his friends. Associates uh, to hip hop fans, to music lovers, RIP to FBG Duck. Um, what? Too soon. Uh, 26. Yeah, 26. Uh, yeah, 26 Bless years up. of age. Bless up. Bless up, seriously. Um, yeah, RIP, man. It's uh, unfortunate. Um, had a had a couple, a couple of dope songs and whatnot. Uh, I'm you know I'm not in that genre, but I've heard his music uh-huh. and it seemed like it was it was pretty uh, pretty dope. You know the, the uh, drill the drill right drill Joe channel seven. Yeah, the drill thing. Like, yeah, he's heavy in the drill scene. I mean, damn, they're a pioneer. Yeah, one of the pioneers. You know what I'm saying? And he was about to finally get his shine. So yeah. no, I felt like he was on his way up. Yeah, like. They all are before the demise. But I read somewhere he just signed with Rap a Lot. He was he just signed with Rap a Lot. Rap a Lot was still moving like that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That's a good move. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, R.I.P. Uh, yeah, it, it's just unfortunate. Joe, uh, you want to speak on that? You yeah, your I mean, thoughts you know, on that? I mean, like, yeah. I mean, like, I'm saying the same thing with your sentiments. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really a big fan of his music, but he didn't make music for me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make music for, uh, for you know what I'm saying, a 40-plus-year-old, you know what I'm saying? But 
I saw his influence heavy. You know what I'm saying? He was out here. You know what I'm saying? He, I saw um, Lupe. You know what I'm saying? Paid his condolences. Yeah. Um, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Found out on IG Live while he was doing the IG yeah. Live. Found that. Uh, who else? Um, you know what I'm saying? He was. He was I saw him. Him and uh, Reese. Mo well, Reese was getting was gonna get down on on six nine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Mm. Uh, Takashi had his personal number, you know, he's calling him Goofy, all that, like, you know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> now, let me ask you this, do you, do you no. wish that Chicago rappers, amongst the beef that they have, do you wish they, that they would come together and go against other, you know, other cats of other genres or other Goofies, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying, just, and just bond together, no matter what set they, you know, what, no matter what set they claim or what have you. You you would rather see them come together and be a Voltron unit, correct? I mean, of course, but I mean, but this fantasy because you know what I'm saying. It's real bloodshed behind. Them. That's kind of what makes Chicago beef like kind of authentic. It's sad, but it's, it's what makes you know what I'm saying. The drills thing with Chicago started, you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. worldwide because it's shit is a movie, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's real live bloodshed behind Yo, the world. Yeah, and, and they, got, mean, they, got him on, line, they got them on the, the line, whitest line. street of ever, ever, dude. They got them on the Gold Coast. A street known for Chicago's most expensive shopping today turned into a crime scene rattled by gunfire and littered with bullet casings. I was standing where we're standing now and heard what I thought was a machine gun. So for him to be, you Lupe, know, Lupe compared to being shot on Rodeo in Beverly Hills. Yeah, right. I, I, I think. Yeah. So yeah, like dude. I mean that line between the line between reality and entertainment has been stomped, erased straight. Chicago drill has just totally erased the line, the thin line between reality and entertainment. Like it's real death. These words that you know what I'm saying. Duck had just made a song about what's called dead bitches where he was just sitting on all his ops, all the dead ops that he had, you know what I'm saying? And you can't really, you know what I'm saying, you would have that, that, that look that he got what he had coming, but it wasn't, like that was the norm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody shit on everybody's dead ops. Like they so disrespectful to each other, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, his ops, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, 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 the hatred is, the, 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 the disrespect is growing abundantly now. You got 600 Breezy, he put a song out already. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking you know about, saying? Like, talking about Doug? Already. Wow. They, everybody talking to his ops like he's a pack now. They smoking on him. Which, Damn. by the way, which, by the way, is ironic because it was him who was about to make a trip to New York and beat the shit out of Young Ma. But she said smoking on Tuka. You know what I'm saying? She didn't understand what the real, what that really meant. You know oh, that saying? was Duck that said he'd go out there. That was yeah. That's that's two. He's from Tukerville. Oh, so she got that shit from Chief Keith. You know that Chief Keith. Yeah, I remember Keith. that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So he said smoking on Tuka. She took the shit and just said it because it rhymed. Mm -hmm. She said blowing up on a hookah like I'm smoking on Tuka. All right. That was a dude's friend. You know what I'm saying? He was so away. That was a dude's close friend. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? She didn't understand that shit. They checked that real quick. Mm. This is, they said this was his third time getting shot. Well, shot at. the second time was the third time. He said, he said it was the third time. The third well, was the second time. he got shot, he had been shot twice already. Right. And he spoke about that. Right, right. And so this would be his third time. Which oh, yeah, yeah. Demise, unfortunately. Yeah, man, he's well on his way, though, man. Uh, I never thought I'd see the day where fucking uh, FBG Duck would overshadow uh, Malik B's death. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. uh, yo, know RIP to like, Malik B, uh, Roots, uh, legendary crew. Uh, definitely uh, prayers, blessings. What happened to him? They, they didn't reveal it. Oh, just said, I have uh, no idea. No yeah. one knows, but uh, one of the founding members to the Roots, uh, legendary crew. Uh, for all the kids that don't know, or people, not even kids, that people don't know, look up The Roots. The Roots are a real hip-hop rap group before they got on Legendary Jimmy Fallon. Group. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legendary group, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, but uh, before, you know, I know we, we started on a somber note. 
Uh, I wanted to uh, pick it up and uh, shout out to uh, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Over in the corner, Big Joe. Yo. Thank you for everything. Uh, Channel 7, a.k.a. Joe, calls him Big Mike. Big Mike, shout out to the guy behind <laughs> the, the camera. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Appreciate it. me? You called him Big Mike. You you labeled him that. I thought we all. Nah, that was you. That was you, guy. Yeah, that was you. That was you, buddy. Yo, shout out, shout out to these uh these two guys that, that do a lot of work and, and help us out a lot, though. So uh, we we appreciate it. Um, Yo, and, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Yeah. I almost forgot. Before we do a goddamn thing, yeah. y'all. Uh-oh. Hey Zeke, man, you know what we gotta do, man. Yo, hey! Do y'all hear? <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> that shit passed, guys. That shit passed, guys. Yo. yo, happy birthday. Yo, that happy shit. Happy birthday. Yo, that, yo thank you. Happy belated, yo. Thank you. Yo, that shit passed. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, for all the people, all the, all the people watching. In the comments, guess this man's age. Nah, you, know, you ain't gotta do all that. Yeah, you ain't gotta do all that, yo. Yes, how old does he look? Yo, 21, yo, 21. <laughs> 21. If, you get, if you guess it right, free shirt from Dope Space. <laughs> yo. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hey, free shirt to whoever guessed uh, Ricky Swain's age, man. Yo, yo. The by, age, by the age way, age can, can I give a. Uh, can I give a, a backdrop to how I got Ricky Swade? It's not me. It was uh, a friend you, of mine. Not because you wear suede all the time. No, 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 no. It's because of my man Vic. <laughs> Shout out to Vic, who long, long time ago had said, "Yo, Ricky Swade." You know, he just called me Ricky Swade, and that shit because stuck. Because you're smooth. I went oh, on the basketball court. I am. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I get ten, ten dimes and, and 11, 11 points easily. You're smooth and, and velvety. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, much obliged, much obliged. Yeah, shout out to Vic. Yeah, sure. Yo, shout out to Vic, the OG. But uh, yo, what's, what else is going on? I, I see you over there quarantining, you know what I'm saying? You about to uh, take a trip. You you couldn't sit with the gods and sit in the yeah, studio. Um, yeah, you're going to see the white people, you know, they're a little up in age, man. Trying to, trying to do it the right way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, got these idiots out here walking around, mass free. Touching everything, man. I don't want to be that guy. So, so we we yeah. we shutting down, right? COVID about. I ain't school. been to the trip. Well, nah, we are going down shooting shooting out in a couple of days. Probably be down there a couple of days. Yeah. Well, you getting in before? I mean, you getting in, getting out because everyone everything about to shut down though. That's oh, for real. It's, I'm it, saying it like it, it's it's a formality. It's it's coming, yo. Like it's slowly. Yeah, because you, you saying that because of crazy. Yeah, so everything is gonna happen everywhere. It's got to. Uh, Joe. Oh, you're not even on. <laughs> Damn, yo, Mike. You 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 don't think it's it's not gonna shut down? It's gonna shut down here, bro. Okay. Every everywhere. I can't say everywhere. It didn't shut down everywhere at first. That was the, the main yeah, problem, that was the main right? Problem, but right now, they're picking and good. choosing when they wanted to shut down. Yo, let me get my Channel 7 voice on. Yo, vote, 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 motherfuckers. Like, yo, get out there and vote. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got two strikes, one strike, whatever. Just try to vote. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. So, um, yeah, a, a lot of stuff is shut down out here. And uh, we still can't play ball. Nah. Shit going in reverse, man. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's looking like 2021, guys. Like I was saying before, though, if, if they shut down now, like in the fall, winter, they'd probably be, have a better chance of people actually staying in because they ain't going to go out no way. Right. It's fucking cold. Right. This shutdown happened right, right, be- right be- after winter and right before summer. So we already knew in summer people was over there, nah, fuck this. <laughs> I'm going out. Right. So hopefully, if, if it does happen again. Nonetheless, yo, Channel 7, be safe, Joe, be safe out there, whatever, you know. Try to do, we'll do, we'll do. You know what I'm saying, all the, all the, you know, the missus and all the children, all that, be safe. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you, since you've been quarantining, and you've been chilling in the crib, have you been watching any ball? Oh, man, beautiful, the professionalism, excellent segment. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's unreal right there. Um, yeah, man, that's all I've been, do y'all watching any games today? 
I didn't see any games today, but I do know that the Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker has been, they have been the talk of the bubble. Like, they 4-0, they've been killing. You know, Devin Booker has been, he's been the, you're the man. You know what I'm saying? I can't get my voice out. Let me ask you this. Who's your MVP of the few games? Of the bubble? It's Scott been Devin Booker. Devin Booker? Nah, Devin Booker is, he killed TJ Warren, Warren today. He's four. What about, it it, what it about goes Luka? Devin like the people that I'm impressed with in the bubble is um Campaign. Devin Booker, cool out. TJ Warren. <laughs> uh who else been killing in the bubble? Uh hold what on. about Buddy from uh from Denver? Uh, My, uh Michael Michael, Michael Porter. Porter, yeah. Michael Porter been well, serving, crazy. yo. Yeah. Impact yo, Michael Porter been killing. And uh Bo Bo. Yeah, Bo Bo. Yo, yeah. Bo Bo oh, been yeah. serving him, dude. Cool. Like them the cats have been like, yo, like they 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 they've gotten they tick, they got minutes, you know what I'm saying? And they've been they've been utilizing that shit, so you know what I'm saying? Of the new cats of the new cats, I'm man, yo, matter of fact, fuck the new cats. at what point do you all think Luka Donald is gonna be the best player in the NBA? Because he will be the best player in the NBA. How do you, how how do we skip Luka and you skip <laughs> fucking the Greek? Because he white. Mm. <laughs> Is it because he's Anglo-Saxon? I mean, that well, I mean that element from a marketing standpoint. That's all. He's not better than the Greek guy. No, he's not better than the Greek. No, that way. man had 34, 20. He's and 12, not better. Yeah, the yeah, Greek, he did, he did for the but the Greek can do the same shit. Can he? Yeah. He no, he cannot. <laughs> the Greek can't get twenty assists. Yeah, 20 no. assists or 20 rebounds? 20 rebounds. The Greek can't get 20 rebounds? He's, well, he's probably done that already. No, he had 20 rebounds. I'm saying, but the, the Greek has been exposed already. And I mm. and that's why I'm saying he's not the best now. I, the, the Greek is damn near the best now. Right, and he's only 24. He's only 24. He's only 24. Said, at what point do you think Luka is going to be the best now, player? Not if the next. Greek is around. He's next. The Greek is, is seven foot. He's seven foot and he's a guard. And he does the same shit that, that Luca does. And well, he's a better rebound than Luca. Well, we saw what happened to him in the playoffs, though. Like, that, all that, that court to court, that all, all they got to do is put like, two athletic bodies on him. And he need, and he also needs to uh, start working on his uh, ball handling so he can run that offense. No, nah, look, the Greek, I'm not worried about his ball handling. I'm not worried about his ball handling. I'm worried about his J. What I'm worried about Luca. They actually coming around. What I'm worried about Luca is the team around him. Like, is he going to be good? Luca is already in the upper echelon. Like, he might make the finals if he stays in Milwaukee two, three I years agree. in a row. Where, the Greek. Wait, I'm talking about the Greek. I'm talking about the Greek. Uh, Luca, like, he could be good all he wants in the stat stuffer, but he not he might not be able to make the finals or the Western Conference. You got, got Dallas going to the finals. You, the you got Dallas going to the finals this wait, year. Wait, you got Dallas going to the finals, right? Oh, me? Yeah. Nah. Oh, <laughs> praising Luca like he can take him to the Man, promised land. Yo. No, I said, no, I said at what point? I'm saying he's clearly on his way. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. No doubt, no doubt. We not, I don't, I don't think if, if Luca gets a three ball, that's like Luca's seven foot. That's unstoppable what Luca's doing. The Greek. the Greek. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the Greek. Like Luca's seven feet. Damn. No. Uh, the Greek. The Greek. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Greek is seven feet, G. and you can't stop him now. And he got no jumper. But he can be stopped. It's been proven. The I last said. Two years. I said he and has no jumper. The playoffs. When it counts, it's been proven. Like I'm saying, like so we don't know about Luca in the playoffs. When he. That's true. I will say that. But I'm saying that's what I'm saying. At once. But his game is more. More, more, Pat, more contoured to, to run in an offense. Yeah. If he gets yeah. the double team, he yeah. can, he can, his, his skill set, he can still run a team and will his team to victory. As opposed to what we've seen, what happens when the Greek is focused on, like in the playoff, they shut all that coast to coast shit down. True enough, it was Kawhi, but you know what I'm saying? There's no more no Kawhi in the East, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, Luka can, can do it without scoring 30 yeah. points, is what you're saying. Right, he don't have he to can score still control 30. the game. Run that team. You like LeBron. Right. He's yeah. a, you know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Now. Yeah, yeah. He ain't I'm, gotta be. Uber listen, I'm, listen. Both talents, uh, both players are dope. I'm not. 
hit a cuckoo. Any one of them. I'm saying like, you try to say I am? Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying like, the Greek is seven. Like, Luca's game is pretty much flawless. Like, what is it that Luca can do that, that you want him to do? Is he a good defender? Him? What is it that what is it that you want him to work? No, no, no. What is it that you want him to work on? Probably defense. And probably, oh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, from what the few things I have seen. Okay. What about I'm offense? Patience. Nothing. Patience too. Nothing. A little bit patience. A little bit more patience on, on the clutch. A few games I watched, like he gets all the poise that he shows in the first three quarters. Like it doesn't. He, he has some bad decision making at the end of the game. So Greek does. Two games that I'm so the Greek, he does thirty. 13 and 5, and he has no jumper in sight. <laughs> no jumper in sight. So, with that being said, imagine this he motherfucker a getting a jumper. Hmm? Yes. I mean, actually, the jumper's actually. Nah, Jay, nah. I'm sagging off him. Clearly, they do I'm, sag off. I'm sagging off him. Luca got a jumper. Yeah, they You know what I'm saying? The Greek don't even have a jumper, and he's doing the same numbers, if not better, than the Greek has better numbers than Luca, and he don't even have a jumper. So in the playoffs, imagine this motherfucker get a jumper. He gonna be better. He's seven feet. And he play defense. And he the best defender in the game. He's arguably right now the best defender in the game. He might get MVP. MVP and, and defensive player of the year. Dude, you can't. That shit is unreal. No, no, that's not, he's definitely an unreal player. He's one of them special dudes. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's a, that might be a situation where the difference between most dominant and best. And that he gonna put up some astronomical numbers. They both are. They both are. But I'm saying, but Luca can dominate the game without. He can will. He can get a win for his team without dominant. Without putting them numbers on. Dude, you know Luke, the can Greek could be he, fucking he Bill Russell out there. He gotta do that. Oh, yeah, he could be Bill Russell. Russell. That's what I'm saying. Dude, he could play the three, four, or the five. He could be your center. Luca can't be a center. You know what I'm saying? He can only be a point, two or three. Dude, fucking the Greek can he can he can run the game just by playing defense. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm yeah, saying. No, I'm not saying Lucas. Listen, we talking about three of the best players in the game, five in the world, in the world probably, probably five or seven players ain't no better than them. But all I'm saying is that the Greek, he's not even polished. Luca yeah. is kind of polished. He's still, raw. he's still raw, and he's Luka still way more polished. Yeah, Luca way man. more polished, and he's been playing with grown men since he was fifteen. Yeah, the Greek but, is still yeah. raw, and he's still working on his game. But what's scary about Luca is as polished as he is, he's gonna only get better. He's only in his third year. Is he? I think he listen. Yeah. Is he at? As, I is, think he's at. Is Luca at his he's, peak. He's getting there. He's, he's getting not there. at his peak yet. He's Luka, getting, like, you can't get better than 30, 20, and 10. Okay. So 12. Like, like there's that's no game. way. That's like, like the only way Luka game. gets better is that he's played, his his defense is a little bit better, and his jump shot is a little bit better. But other than that, like, his game is flawless. Now, I'm the Greek. is more mental. Like, he's going to learn the game. He's going to yeah, learn. True. Yeah, yeah. He's going to learn how to. Control that game like yeah. Ron does, like like you know, just like chess people. Right. But the Greek, <laughs> but the Greek does this all on fucking instincts. He not even fucking. He don't even got a J. <laughs> Think about that, G. He has no J. Nothing. He plays defense. Plays defense. He 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 distributes. He rebounds, and he scores. He got no J. Wait till he get a J. That's unreal. Like, he's an alien. And kind of limited ball handling. He's an alien. So, like, if I was starting a team, if I was, you know what I'm saying, like, if I was to, like, if I need to start a franchise, I'm definitely starting with him. Not that if you you wrong if you start with Luka. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the Greek is scary. Like, Luka is really, really. When do you think Luka's going to be? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not saying he's, you know what I'm saying? I, I would say uh, the Greek is well ahead of, he's been in the league longer. He's, he's took more time to develop. Right. So he's, it's kind of his time now. When do you think crazy. Greek is going to be? How old is Luca? 21. 20 fucking one. 21. 21. Yeah. 21. 
Dude, the Greek is 24. In 12 oh. years, he gonna be even, yeah. Okay, well, I guess, I was gonna say, can you, are you even gonna count this season and the next season? It's gonna be in the bubble, it's gonna be weird. Yeah, gotta count it, I mean. We basketball here. Like, still. is that going, I mean, I guess he's still You He's still so. gonna count it. That's, that's still going to make I mean, it better. Cause he as far as counted, as far as what? As far as, like, helping him get better. Because he ain't going to be playing. He ain't going to be playing against a, a rowdy away crowd. <laughs> that crowd ain't going to be in his ear. Stuff like right. that. But he's still going to face some playoff dogs. He's still, when that, when that, when that intensity go up, that playoff intensity go up, and niggas really playing for yeah. the play. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you got to, LA, it's, you know, the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? They don't care about home court advantage. There's no home right, court advantage. Right. Yeah, they just trying to work the kinks out of their offense. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Get smooth with it. On a lighter um, note, are you okay with the? Uh, are you and Zeke okay with the? Uh, no names on the. On, well, you got equality and Black Lives Matter on the back of the jerseys, and then underneath you got your name. Are you okay with that? It's no big deal. It's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. whatever. Man. It's not. You know, whatever if I was in whatever league, you want to put out there. <laughs> what about y'all? If I was in the league, I'd probably just have my name on it. It's, it cause, sim, cause, simply because of the fact that I know they can't let them put whatever they want on there, but it's like they gave them a list. Like, here, this is all you can put on there. I'd probably right. be like, all right, I'm just putting right. my name on it. I like what uh what Butler did, you know what I'm saying, with the no, no name. name. Yeah, they shut all that shit down. Though. Is he going to get fined for that? Yeah. Nah, these men split you, right? Black Lives Matter. You ain't gonna get fired. No, he tried to do it with no name on it. He went out there with it. They He's not gonna get fired. They told him to, to make it a up. statement. That's all. That but mean, he, he knew he couldn't do it and did it anyway. He not. He not gonna get fired. Every everything is lenient right now. Everything is all right. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't you ain't no point system. Yeah, ain't no points. There's no There's no point system right now. You good? You good, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> but I, I will tell you that uh, during this time, like uh, in, in in a Joe fat in the Channel Seven fashion, like a, the the cornucopia of basketball that's going on, like like the 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 myriad of basketball games, like you get five games, four games a day. Like I'm not mad. Like I, I, I and, and more importantly, I'm glad that there's zero. COVID test, you know what I'm saying? They're all ne- they're yeah. all negative. No one has got the no one has the COVID and uh, uh, everything. Uh, is- uh, uh, there's one thing about that. What? Whenever they release that statement, what do they say? However many players have been tested positive, they ain't testing nobody else. That's a good they point. Well, well, staff, players. The, the well, players. Security. Yeah. So it's still a chance, but it's still, it's still, chance, it's but still the, looking good on from the outside. But the, the players. They are not, you know, they're not getting infected. Yeah. So with that being said, that's you know commendable. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's on the up and up. Yeah, and everything's when the on. Playoffs start. Uh, even teams less. Are gonna be leaving, every, even so. left, less teams are going to be there. They're going to have to worry about that about that next season. Though. How they going to do? Well, that? let let's worry about this season. Yeah, first. yeah. I think I think they'll yeah, let's finish it. Yeah. As long as nobody can fuck it up. Um. And you said you heard from a source that was, you know, no chicks, which, which is what I predicted. That, shout out to Zeke, you did make the pres- prediction that, uh, that yeah, from a source that I know that's uh, close to it, um, stated that yo, like there is no one coming in that bubble. You know what I'm saying? Like too many layers, man. Yeah, it's like a lot of people you gotta get through just to get even in. Just to get close to it, you know what I'm saying? So like, they really want. It. I don't see a player. You know, I'm about to say I don't see a player going out to get it, but a fucking player went out to get some fucking postmates and broke the bubble. So who yeah. knows? I don't um, see a player sneaking out. You talking about Lou? No. Uh, I'm not mad at Lou, by the way. Yeah, I'm not mad at. I'm, I'm not, not mad, mad at Lou at getting the wing. I'm like, talking about uh, Rashawn Holmes. He ordered some postmates. Oh. <laughs> I get whatever. He stepped across, he stepped the, across the gun line and. <laughs> Ooh, so. He had the quarantine, but Lou, nah, I ain't. Nah, I ain't mad. Yo, yo, shout out to Lou Williams. Wait, even with the extra info that came out, the chick said she gave him a dance. Yeah, I don't care. About that. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Right, right, right. He got quarantine. You know, I, well, yeah, that's the thing too. Whatever yeah. he, whatever he was doing, he was going to have to quarantine anyway. 
But All from right. the story that came out at first was he just went there to get food and left. But then the other He's story came out right. that no, nah, the, the chick said she danced for him and all this other stuff. So he was kind of withholding part of the story, I guess, to give to, give to the public. But I wasn't really mad at. He said it's his favorite restaurant. So. Hey, the wings do look good. Yeah. Y'all, if you if you see it, Joe edited, it, you know what I'm saying? The the uh, Magic City wings, they do look good. Like, I'm not the, the strip club was closed. The, the kitchen was shit, open. The strip club was closed, but the chicken, I mean, the uh, the kitchen was open, like you stated. But that shit look good, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. I definitely go out there and get a wing or two. <laughs> <laughs> For real, yo. But um, along that, along those lines. Me and Zeke, we had a convo on the lighter side when we were talking about everyone getting equality and, you know, voting on the back of their jerseys. There's some numbers out there that we hate <laughs> to see on certain players, you know what I'm saying? For instance, I, I'll keep the uh, audience abreast that um, <laughs> I hate I hate certain numbers on certain players. For instance, I hate Marcus Smart wearing 36. That's an ugly number, yo. That's an ugly number. Like an ugly number in general or for ugly, a No, no, just an ugly number, period. Nobody 30, should have Think it. about it. When when the ref says 36, he has to go foul on 36. Three, six. Like, yo, that's ugly, dude. Like, you can't, like, yo, that's a horrible number. 36 is a horrible number for a guard, forward, center, Whatever. I don't know anyone in the NBA. For our viewers, for our subscribers, yo, look, name me anyone that wore 36. Yo, like, I'll give you fucking ten dollars. Yeah, I'll cash app you ten dollars for a 36. Sure it's been some. I can't yeah, yeah, for no sure. Money. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, dude, I don't know anyone in the 36. 36, 28 by Quinn Cook. Dion Waiters wears 18. Shit like that, like. It's kind well, of they, I think Quinn Cook did that for Kobe though, right? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I think so. it was like a, a Kobe, um, but Kobe um, and Gigi and Gigi kind of thing. I think he changed it. I don't remember what his number. But was Dwight Howard wears thirty nine. I don't know the reason behind that, but he wears thirty nine. They wouldn't let him wear sixty nine. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain numbers as a basketball purist that I am. I hate. What like, about zero? That's a big O. Would be zero? I'm cool with zero now. You cool with zero? Yeah, I'm cool with zero. Zero, oh, well, zero, you like, zero. You like Gilbert Zona, okay. I do like Gilbert, yeah, but no, zero no. is a cool number now. I wouldn't pick zero. What about the double O? I don't Mello. like, I don't like Melo getting double O. I, I wish he would have got zero, which he can't because Dame Lillard, but I don't like double O. Lillard is zero? Yeah. You don't pay attention. But yeah, he is double zero. I mean, uh, Dame is double is zero. Yes. yes. What number else? Think about it in your head. Yeah, I I hate um. I hate guards wearing like big numbers, like white chocolate. I don't like him wearing fifty five. <laughs> no, I'm mean, saying fifty five is a center number. I don't like I don't like white chocolate wearing fifty five. You know what I'm saying? You know, only, you would, only you would only you would think about this. Man. I'm just saying, like yes, only I would think about this. But yes, I, there is nothing that in the basketball realm that I don't I don't overlook, and I, I don't like numbers that don't fit players. Like, so as a like point, a quarterback wearing number seventy six or something. Like, he yeah, wouldn't. Yeah. He wouldn't. But in football, it's, you can't even like Doug, that, right? like Doug Flutie wearing fucking twenty. Was he twenty two? Or 20, 21? 21, I, yeah. I think yeah, that 21. shit was horrible. Like, why is Doug Flutie wearing 21? <laughs> that shit's ratchet, yo. Like, that shit's whack. So, as a point guard, what number should you not go higher than? Should you, you always be single digits as a point guard? No, no, no. You could, as a point guard, you can probably go up to 21. And if you're big, if you're a big 6'8, if you're 6'5 and above, I, I will allow, you know, for you to be, you know, 32, 33 in the Magic era. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be, you know, 
Isaiah Thomas and Rockin' 55. <laughs> I don't like that shit. Man. Joe, fuck you if you think I'm crazy for all this. And fuck all the listeners and watchers that don't, don't like it. Yo, I don't like ba- like I don't like my I don't like basketball cats. I don't like short guards but wearing then, big numbers. Then again, this is from a guy who's never owned a basketball jersey. I've never owned a basketball jersey, but I love basketball and <laughs> more than likely, more often than not, I know everything about basketball. So like this dude can tell you where fucking Yinka Dari went to college at. But Georgetown. Never owned a basketball. Georgetown. Jersey. He went to Georgetown. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just but I'm saying though no, that, that that's crazy. That, that's a big thing. There's nothing on sports life and hip hop. There's nothing that Ricky Schwade, you know, or any uh, uh, other my other two co-hosts will overlook as far as basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like we look at everything. But you also think nobody should wear 23 anymore, right? Yeah, I, I think that uh, 23 should be uh, retired like Jackie Robinson. Like MLB does, Jackie Robinson. I think twenty three should be forty two. Forty two. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm saying forty two should be retired, just like twenty three should be retired in basketball. You agree, Joe? Indeed. Yeah. Twenty three. Uh, That's retired in Miami. Twenty right? four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gold status right there, man. Yeah, like like you know, twenty three should definitely be retired for basketball. That's a hell of some hell of a respect. So you don't think, yeah, yeah. Or he paid for it, though. Yeah, ain't nobody else right. doing that. He, he definitely, he definitely uh, paid for it. Um, so we were, we were kicking the, we were kicking the can this past week with the bubble going on. What are some of your top five overrated hoopers in the NBA all time? Since you've been quarantining. And you've been sitting uh, there, you've been just watching them uh, the ball. Let me see here. <laughs> Excuse me while I pull this out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, top of the I got the uh, Nash. Wow. 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 Whoa. Wow. 50, 50, Jeremy Lynn was an overrated? I, I got uh, Jeremy Lynn, Robert Ory. Woo! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, let's slow down the disrespect for a Hall of Famer, man. Who? Steve Nash is a Hall, Hall of Famer. Robert, Robert Ory is a Hall of Famer? Future. What? Yeah. I don't know. Big, don't disrespect Big yeah. Shot Bob like that, man. Yeah, big moments. There's man. no way that Big Shot Bob is making the Hall of Fame. Cool out there. All of his highlights were like wide open uh, yeah. shots. Wide they open were daggers, off of though. Him. They were daggers. Wide open. They were daggers, but they were doubling off of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> exactly. Kobe wasn't open. He was... <laughs> was just so you say um, he's open for a reason. Yeah, he... No, I mean, no disrespect to him. No, he's it's not like you disrespect <laughs> He's a hell of a role player, man. But yeah, I agree. I'm with you. You said you said in Jazz League, but it's some cats out there that really think Robert Owens should go to the Hall. He shouldn't. No but uh, I got Andrew Wiggins. Mm. Uh, Wiggins, was, Wiggins was on my list too. Yeah, I wanted to put yeah. Wiggins on my list. Yeah. And then I got a tie. I got a tie. For fifth, I got a tie between Marbury. What? Uh, DeMar- what? DeMar- oh. DeMar DeRozan. I can see Marbury. Wow. D- wait, you got Marbury is overrated? Overrated, man. man. I can kind of see that. Wow. I can kind of see that. If you really look at it, he's ballyhoo. If you when you talk top point guards, he usually comes up around fifteen to twenty. Yeah. You know <laughs> but so y'all like, look this. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, time out. Y'all look this up. I I went off huh? the I, I, I test. That's what I said. Oh yeah, I'm strictly off I test. Yeah. I mean, I, I could be dead wrong. I haven't looked seen his numbers, but I do know. Every team that he's left has gotten better since he uh, <laughs> What was his best, his best run? Was what, New Jersey? Uh, he was an all-star there. Was he an all-star in Minnesota? I don't think so. No. Nah. He was. Let's see, he was. Two, uh, the Nets got better when he left because uh, Jason Kidd came through. Mm. Dude, Jason Kidd is arguably like a top five point guard <laughs> of all time. Are you I'm serious? Just saying, team, hey, I'm just bad. saying the team got better. The team Dude, Jason, you said he was replaced by Jason Kidd. That's not, that's not like a bad thing. Like Jason Kidd is Marbury the best. Marbury was in that echelon. Marbury was in the S, that echelon back then. 
Jason Kidd's yeah, not better can't. than fuck. I mean, Stephon is not better than Jason Kidd. Not exactly. But he's talked about in that elk, and he shouldn't be. Um, where else he go? Where did he go after? After uh, he went to T Wolves, New Jersey, New York. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix got better when Nash he came. Went to Phoenix. He, you know what I'm saying? Every Nash is all. <laughs> but you got Nash is overrated too. You and got Nash talk- right. Right, but Steph is more overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Nash, my 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 gripe with Nash is more about his the MVP. like the, the MVP years, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? I can see that. Uh, he got, got, he got an MVP. He got an MVP the year Kobe scored eighty one. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James was in the NBA, and this man got MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Nash got an MVP. What you call it? Who, who, who what y'all got? We doing overrated, right? Yeah. Uh, I only had three. I got, I got, I got Vlade because he's in the Hall of Fame for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, Jerome James because he what? got that because he got that big ass contract after he had a decent playoff series. And I got Jerome James. Jerome James. <laughs> he got overpaid, man. He fucking highway robbery, man. Hey, I didn't even think about Jerome, but I. And I got I got Rick's boy, Mitch Richmond. Why is he in the Hall wow. of Fame? Wow. That's a good one. That's a good what? One. Why is he in the Hall of Fame? Yo, of Fame. The Rock was a 23, 5, and 4 dude. Those Hall of Fame numbers? 23, uh, 5, and 4. Like, were they empty calories or were they, you know, was it real? Losing team. Nah, I mean, I, I got to really think about it, but off top, that's a, you know what I'm saying? That's a good one, though, man, to me. Anyway. Man. Oh, worthy, man. I mean, he already in there, but you know we could do that, bro. Right. When, when people bring up shooting guards, they ain't mentioning Mitch Richmond. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Richmond is the equivalent of Scarface when cats say their their favorite rapper, you know, Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Scarface is dope, but eh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mitch Richmond is on the same level as, as fucking I would, Scarface. I would say Scarface is a better rapper. Than people Mitch don't even Richmond. know who Mitch Richmond is. Yeah. <laughs> but if you ask, if you ask cats like, um, yo, who's a, who's your toughest? Where did fucking Mitch Richmond go? Mitch Richmond. Uh, where did Mitch Richmond go? So, what do you mean, as far as school? What? I don't know where Mitch Richmond was. <laughs> That's your thing. That's your thing. <laughs> All right. Where did he go? Kansas State. Oh, nobody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, what's your, what's your list? Yeah, I'm mad that y'all put The Rock, Mitch Richmond, a.k.a. That's because you got a nickname on me, you belong in the Hall of Fame. Man. No, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, Mitch Richmond, Jordan actually said The Rock, uh, Mitch Richmond, is one of the hardest uh, dudes to guard. Pause. That's what Jordan said. What if, the, if the guy... That's what I'm saying. Like, exactly. I've heard Jordan say that. I've heard a couple of people say that. Well, I'm saying it's almost like the go-to, like catch. <laughs> you got Jay Z, Nas. You ask these guys who their favorite rappers, they all say Scarface. <laughs> really? Scarface was dope. Hey, hey so Miss Richmond, like, you want to throw that name out to let niggas know? I know a little bit of ball, but yeah, I, yeah that's yeah. that's the name. Like, oh, right, I know right, exactly. Ball. Yeah. Yo, what though, Miss Richmond? Like, oh, right. you know ball, right? Oh, this, it's a what? From Golden State? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all slip on Miss Richmond, nigga. All right. <laughs> um, I got Robert Ory. Disrespect. Man, did Robert Ory <laughs> never even made an All Star. First of all, Robert Ory <laughs> never even averaged 15 points a game. Didn't need to. Ever. Didn't need to. We got the, ever. The, first we got the one, hardware though. Let it be known. But first, let it be known, overrated doesn't mean trash either. No, no. Right. It's just that he gets hyped up. Like, right. Um, white chocolate. Huh? Jason Jason Williams, a.k.a. White Chocolate. Wow. Was I, mean, I think he was... Wh- might be a little racism. Player, but I agree. How was that racism? What? How was that racism? <laughs> Dude, I think that if White Chocolate was black, y'all wouldn't even give a fuck. No, I no, no, you wouldn't. We've seen white, white chocolate ain't before. That you've elbow seen, pass. you've seen Jason Williams before. He's throwing that elbow pass. You've seen Jason. The, the black, the black white chocolate. I'm talking a about low the, tier, 
a low tier uh, white chocolate. Ooh. Ray Frost is, Ray Frost white is white a, a white chocolate. He didn't get the supper. Come on, he man. Didn't get the spotlight nah. like that, though. It's racism. <laughs> <laughs> if it was Ray <laughs> Frost, you're like, oh my God. The I love it. But white chocolate do it. He do it behind the back passes and cold. you love it. And Rayford didn't do it. You that. love it. Rayford white cold. chocolate does it. And you're like, oh my God. I've never seen a white guy throw an elbow <laughs> pass. Skip didn't like, have that. Oh my Skip God. Skip didn't have the green light like him. He couldn't well, do it. Rayford could do the same shit as, could, as, as white chocolate. Not, I guarantee it. Yes, he Joe, can. Joe, he Joe can, Rayford that, also can't do the same shit as, as white chocolate. I'm not saying he can. Real talk. He can. Of course. The coach ain't of let him course. do that, though. You don't think Raper Austin can cross Gary Payton the way could. White White Chocolate did? Yeah, he, he can. Could. I'm sure he could. The, he probably do it. Yeah, he, do he it. hit him with the. He skip to the loop thing. Yeah, boy. dude. White Chocolate is dope. Listen, though, like you, like Joe said, the the overrated. It's not to say a motherfucker is whack. It's just to say you get more pub than you have to. And white right, Jason right. Williams, Raper Austin can do the same shit white chocolate yes, can he do. can. But in the NBA, his they roles in the NBA is different. If Skip do that fucking and one shit, the coach gonna pull him out the game. So it's racism! <laughs> So <laughs> whose fault is that? That's not well, Rayford's yeah, fault. It's not his fault. I'm just Pete saying. Ma- Listen, Pete Maravich do the same shit. Y'all think he the greatest. <laughs> Y'all think he the greatest. <laughs> Isaiah do the shit. He like, he a regular fucking point guard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Isaiah Thomas right, do the right. same shit. He a regular point guard. He a nigga that know how to dribble, right? <laughs> Pete Maravich right, do the right. shit. He, he fucking a goat. You know what I'm saying? Pistol beat. Pistol beat. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, me again. Let me continue with my list. Yeah, we've got go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Bill Walton. I think y'all agree on this. Bill Walton is very overrated. He had like. Yeah, yeah I totally agree with that. Bill like, Walton. I don't. I don't know what. Like, I wasn't around that era, but like, everyone really bigs him up. Yeah. Like, and he had like four fucking foot surgeries. Like, he missed four seasons. Uh-huh. I think he's more ballyhooed because of his college career. All right. I, his college you know career is dope. UCLA. Yeah. Like, dude, his NBA career is kind of it's kind of checkered. Um, Andrew Bynum. Mm, I think he was I thought, very. I, I think he was very him. overrated. Like, I thought about putting him. Too. Andrew Bynum is very overrated. They, they. I mean, it's only because of injury, but he never showed potential, and mm. everyone was on his dick. And uh, my fifth and last, and y'all. Yo, for the view, I'm looking at the camera. For the viewers and the subscribers and the people that like this show, I thought Iverson was overrated. I thought the person on your shirt was very overrated. Now, do I think? Hey. I, yeah, yeah, Joe. I think Iverson was overrated. I thought the MVP was overrated. I thought he was overrated. I think Only shooting two for thirty-two, ten for thirty-two in a game is 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 like yo, like you got thirty-two shots and you only made ten. Kept shooters keep Bro. shooting. Oh. The only reason I didn't say Allen Iverson is because I was wearing the shirt. I totally agree. I, by I the totally way, I like Iverson. I don't do think you, that do you. I, I don't think Iverson's a bad player. I think that he's one of the greats. I think that that the, the ballyhoo of 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 his 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 uh, his his, his, his uh, historic numbers, so to speak. Like I think that is is that is pumped up. Like nigga, like he shot. 41% from the field. Like, bad? Yes. 41% yes. from the field. Not from threes, from the field. What's good? 45, 47. You should shoot. Right, this guy's shooting that from three. So damn, near, yeah. damn near 50. Yeah, you guys do. Ray Allen never shot 41 from the field. Not in his prime, no. I think in his prime, oh, I, Iverson. Better shoot it. I think my gripe, if I can look at the camera, if I, my gripe is that. Iverson should have been a point guard. He wanted to be a two guard. No, no problems with that. My thing is, is that he would shoot so many times, and that he would want others to just rebound for him. So I didn't like that shit. And then like the hood, and everyone else loved him. He had cornrows, he had braids. I get, I mean, uh, tattoos and all that. I get that. But like his overall play was dope. It was exciting. But like, like efficiency, he sucked. Yeah, right. He's one of the players you can't. He's one of those some players you can actually do the eye test with. But him, like you dig into his numbers, you kind of see like, uh <laughs> he scored twenty eight points a game because he shot thirty times a game. Like, right. 
If you're true happy, enough, on some of them teams, it was by necessity. True enough. Right. <laughs> we're gonna pass, go pass to Eric Snow. I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna get some dislikes. I know I'm gonna get some what the fucks. Or whatever. Like gonna pass to, to Jumaine Jones. He wanted the team to be trash. <laughs> what? Whatever. Like you know what I'm saying. If I don't like it, I don't like it. That don't mean that I'm hating. <laughs> Comment <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you sure you want to be quoting that guy right now? Yeah, it, it, that quote was before <laughs> whatever is going on. Yeah, y'all yeah, want to go to the uh, what was what was that under that was un- overrated. That was right? overrated. Give now me underrated. Go underrated. All right, I'll do mine first. Uh, I got Dwight Howard underrated. Like Mello. Like Joe Johnson, sneaky Hall of Fame possibly. Both. Rasheed Wallace and Dominique Wilkins. Uh I had Dominique too. I forgot they left him off the dream team and they left him off the uh, top 50 greatest of all time this the first time he did. Hogan's happy. Hogan's happy. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. I'll go uh, underrated. Oh, well, to explain the mellow shit, like people look at mellow like, oh, he ruined, well, I guess he kind of say he does ruin teams and he chased the money, but. He's gonna make the hall. Of- There's some people that take their personal issues with Melo and say like he don't deserve to get Hall of Fame treatment, but he's definitely gonna make the Hall of Fame. And Dwight Howard's definitely gonna make the Hall of Fame too, despite all the off the court shit. And people don't respect She because he stared down refs and got a lot of texts and shit. Where does She come in? Right. Underrated. He's a good player. She is. And yeah, like, she I think does. I think you told me before. Uh, like he could have scored a lot. Yeah, he yeah. Didn't really she, want to. <laughs> she could have scored over twenty, but yeah. he, could, he didn't want to. Mm-hmm. And all the jailblazer stuff and all that shit. Just right. People look at him in a bad light because of that. I'll go, Joe. Uh, my underrated before you know we gonna get the the all the riffraff out. I got Mike Bibby, the guy, the ghost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course. I why, got. Why is he underrated? Mike Bibby never made a hall, never made the All Star team. Like mm, he should have made All Star. Deserve to? Yeah, of course. He's Mike Bibby. <laughs> He's Mike Bibby. Tough Western Conference. I don't know. Mike yeah. Bibby. Huh? Yeah, that was a tough Western Conference. I don't yeah, know. Mike Bibby was cold, He's man. Wrong time. Uh, Rod Strickland uh, mm. never dunked. Mm-hmm. Always that, underneath six. You know what I'm saying? Rod Strickland. Uh, Dennis Rodman. I think he's very underrated. Uh, Scotty Pippen. Some people would say he's overrated. Yeah. Scotty P- Scotty oh, Pippen. Rodman. This Rodman? Nah. Scotty Scotty Pippen. Scotty's underrated. Who Rodman or Scotty? I said Scotty's underrated. I think Scotty's underrated. I don't think people real. I think people don't realize that he really was a like on one the of the. 50. Huh? He's on the top fifty though. That's he was, but like people want to put him at like 49, 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, Dennis Rodman. I don't think Dennis Rodman gets much due because of all the outside shit. But Dennis Rodman is probably the best rebounder I've ever seen in my lifetime. The Especially best. best and then I got Joe Dumars, who probably is the only dude mm-hmm. I saw locked down. Fucking Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Nobody mentions no one mentions Joe Dumars. Nobody. Um, kids, if you don't know, or people that don't know ball, look up Joe Dumas. Joe Dumas is a bad motherfucker. Highlights are boring. Highlight packages yeah. ain't going. <laughs> yeah, his highlight packages ain't sexy. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna hit you with dunks and flair. No. The motherfucker is just hit rainbow jumpers. Didn't have an NBA body. Nah, he didn't have an NBA body, but he was cold. Joe Dumas, you know, look him up. Where did he go? Make me steak. You don't even know what steak is. But me knee stays where he went. Joe. We got uh Vernon Maxwell. Huh? We got Jeff Vernon Maxwell was a dog. Man. He was a hothead though, but uh, he went in Mike. He, he, he definitely went in Mike, yeah. That's what kept fame. him that's what kept him from achieving but from being good is his, his fucking temper, man. Yeah. Um fucking Jeff Hornacek. I got uh Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do right yeah. Got Dominique like usually, and um, 
Vukovic. But today I got like uh, Nikola Vukovic. 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 I think he's well. But, uh, I think he's Nobody good. talks about him amongst the, amongst the good. He's been consistently putting up, uh, yeah. what, about what? 19 and 10? No, more than that. 21, 10, and 7. Yeah. You know, uh, he's been talked about. He's shooting for a big man, too. He's throwing him in there for the new age. <laughs> what you like, what you like? So you like a lot of white players. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't see colors, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you got Luca as the best player ever. <laughs> no, I said soon to be. Best? Right. Soon to be, I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'm not saying he's the best now. I don't either. You know what I'm saying? I get. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hear you say that little shrimp. You know what I'm saying? You know? That would have been a good one. Um, but underrated. No, yeah, he won six man a lot, so. He did? Yeah. Oh, sure. He, he has no college, so don't have to be going to go overseas. <laughs> but, uh. Um, college, he came straight out of high school? Nah, he played overseas, though. Which college was it? And he didn't go to college. So he came straight out of high school? No, he played in the big boy league. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. You like know, Luka. when you overseas. So Luca didn't go to college either? Yeah, Luca didn't go to college. Okay. Um. So they was getting paid right out of high school. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. they they've been playing professional ball. Like Ricky Rubio been playing professional ball since he's fifteen. So he got he, he been 15, getting a check. He he's fifteen getting, with a contract. Yeah, like oh, overseas, man. like when you fifteen and you're good, you been getting paid. As so a that's kid. why uh, what you call it went over there. Oh. Uh, Jennings. Yeah, Brandon Jennings. He yeah. went and got that money. Yeah. Okay. I don't blame him. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? What else? Um. I can't segue, can't really segue, this is a horrible segue as far as overseas, but it kind of is. I read somewhere in in news clippings about Southwest Airlines not cleaning their fucking, (laughs) not not cleaning their fucking airplanes in the midst of all this. So they said they're only going to clean the... No. Well, Southwest Airlines is cutting back on cleaning after flights that were put in place because of the pandemic. So it will no longer be sanitizing seat belts between flights. The company says cleanings will now focus on a few items like tray tables and lavatories. The move will reduce the time planes spend on the ground between flights. Deep overnight cleanings, though, will still continue. Uh, really that's a flaw in their promotion and marketing. Like <laughs> at this in this t- day and age, like turn times, the importance to a customer. I don't think that trumps safety and cleanliness. You know, the hygiene. Yeah. In this day and age, you know, the, like if this was two years ago, then they'd be like, hey, right, yeah. hurry up. And now I think they'll be fine with it. The same like time be coming out saying, hey, we don't clean our shit. Right. <laughs> <Get them done." laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it sucks. Are y'all, uh, are y'all looking for, you know what I'm saying, since you're about to shut down? First of all, are you happy that, you know what I'm saying, you guys' as kids' schools are shutting down? Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Since, like, they're, you know, like, they're definitely, I don't hear anyone, well, where we from, where we're, our, where we're from. Uh, we don't have to send our kids to school. They, they basically be at home. So are you cool with that? Like, oh shit, mine I guess still gotta go to school. So. They no, they don't. Don't. Oh, they don't. CBS, they don't. Oh, no, oh not, yeah. Some type of charter bullshit. Yeah. Like, I'm sure they're gonna shut that down. Catholic schools four 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 fledged ahead, man. They going five days a week in person student learning. So they're not doing, they're not doing the whole, they're not doing the whole uh, at home shit. No hybrid, no, they going 100% to the tilt, man. Wow, wow. I'm, I'm blown, I'm, I'm, I'm some flabbergasted by such. Speak on it, I'm speak real. on it, God, speak on it. No, I'm just saying, it's, it's on the top of the day, but you know, you pay for Catholic school. They bought, that's, that's a money thing, like, you know what I'm saying, like. They still getting their money, you paid before they even went to school. 
I'm saying they they're not they, they want that uh what you call it uh, um what do you call it uh ship ends with ship uh I, I'm drawing a blank they, they I mean they want they want people to go to the schools like you know what I'm saying like yo the people there's a market for them now because there's people out there that don't believe in there should be any hybrid. They don't believe there should be any remote learning. Oh, yeah. They think right. it should be, you know what I'm saying? That's the actual People movement. People protesting for that. Like, when our kids in yeah. school. Yeah. It's already a kid in, I think, Atlanta that got COVID since school opened back up. I don't think I don't, I don't think schools should be open. I, I mean. Did you see that picture that came out? It was a, I think that was a school in Georgia, too. Fucking hallways. They back-to-back like cattle with masks on. <laughs> Like, yeah, right, man. just touching everything and just looking like, right. in the eye. And the younger the kids are, you can't stop. You can't tell them, hey, just keep your mask on. Don't touch anything. Right. That shit ain't going to work. Right. That shit ain't going to work in high school. You know you're going to have a class they clown can't. going around fucking coughing on people just for fun. Right. Think more of get in a fight, they gonna keep their mask on. Right. Fuck <laughs> right. out of here. I'm going to be stupid, man. I don't get this. Get Trump out of here. <laughs> Yo, vote, everybody, vote. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything else, Channel 7? Anything else? We got the uh, the rock group going off right now, so I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely, you know, pretty, uh, nah, pretty loud. Nah, that's not it. Unless, y'all wanna, unless you want to foreshadow Rick Ross and uh, 2 Chang. Yeah, we, we can't see it, but you know what I'm saying. Happening as we speak. Happening as we speak, but tune in. Hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, overall, though, like, you know, I'm glad that uh, the CPS is shutting down. Schools are, like, more at home, except I'm sorry about your charter, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Like, wear your mask, continue to wear your mask, even though we don't have... I know where these cats been, I know where Zeke been at, for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I know where Big Joe has been, and uh, AKA Big Mike, I know where he's been at, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, but uh, yeah, just wear your mask, I got nothing else. Wash your fucking hand. Yeah, wash your hands, stay safe out there, yo. Anything else, Joe, Big Joe, anything else? I mean, you ain't got no, no, no turkey legs going on over there. <laughs> Hey, Joe, man, you're doing the guys a great disservice, man. <laughs> Those fucking turkey, that shit is fire, man. Hey, Big Mike, tell him, hey, toast line for me, man. That shit was on sale. <laughs> shit was good, man. Shit was good. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Yeah, check us out, S-L-H-H-P-O-D, dopeassfits.com, great group consultants for you, all that. Uh, Channel 7, get... Get where you need to be safely. Uh, stay clean, Gratitude. stay safe, stay uh, corona free. Uh, what else? Uh, shout out to 7S Studios. Shout, shout out to 7S Studios. Uh, the the, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Blazer State, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we moved up in the world. Uh, break, break through, no, breaking consulting for you. Dot com, one of our sponsors. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dopeassfits.com. Uh, check us out on uh, IG S L H P H H Pod. S L A H S E L D P O D. I should say Pod. Like fuck it. I'm not spilling out Pod. Yo, I'm not doing the soup thing. S O D. Everybody can't spill, man. Alright. Hey, so put it on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, put it on the screen. Right here. But yo, like we three motherfuckers, we appreciate all the likes, we appreciate all the love, uh, all the subscribers, yo, like we just we don't have bidets. Two out of three of us don't have bidets. You don't have to say <laughs> that's a bit. On it, that's a bit. <laughs> We're gonna run with it. Um but yo, like stay safe out there people and uh, wear your mask and just be, be healthy and take care of each other. So, uh, from Channel 7. Oh, shit. I'm Zeke. Yo, that's Zeke over here. Channel 7. <laughs> I forgot to take his name. 
No, I didn't. I didn't forget his name. I, I thought he could say his own. It was all. Oh, okay. Right. Because he's in a fucking uh, in a in a fucking box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's it's, it's right, sort right, of right. like the order and the food shit. I'm not gonna say your name, nigga. You say your own. Right, you know what I'm saying? But yo, Thank shout God. out to to Zeke, Channel Seven, Ricky Schwade. Yo, stay stay humble out there. Stay blessed. Uh, bless up. <laughs> Uh, stay safe out there, people, and uh, take care of each other. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take them off of here. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through, better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real. Get your own shit, man. And be a rich nigga. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.